The first move Meg is going to do is called a single leg deadlift. So she's going to stand on one leg. All the strength is on her supporting side. She's going to use her core. She's going to reach down to the floor towards her toes. Bottom leg is going to bend and then she's going to stand up nice and tall on the single leg. And she's going to continue. This is really going to work the leg that you're standing on. So this is taking your squats to the next level. If you really want to crank up your workout, single leg squat is the way to go. Meg is going to switch sides after this next one. Remember to use that exhale as you're going to each side. Remember not to curve in the spine. Megan has a nice flat back on this one. I'm just going to do one more. Next exercise we have is a glute exercise. Megan's going to come down into a low plank position and she's going to have her foot flexed. It's at a 90 degree angle and she's pushing the flexed foot up to the ceiling and it's a small pulse but you're really going to feel that burden on the working side. We're hitting those trouble zones especially on this exercise. And Megan's going to switch sides other leg, heel right up to the ceiling. Now even though you're really working the leg that's up to the ceiling, you still have to keep your core strong. Focus on your breathing, you're going to feel that burning. Next exercise is a bridge march and you're first going to bring your pelvis up to the ceiling as high as you can and make sure that the weight is on your neck and shoulders. Your head is not really in this equation. You're going to do single leg up to the ceiling as straight as you can. And you're going to keep lifting. Now what's going to happen is your supporting leg, the leg that you are actually standing on, is going to be doing all of the work. You're going to feel your glute and your hamstring on that supporting side, which for Megan right now is her right side. She's also pushing down her palms into the floor so the triceps are engaged. This is really going to work your core as well. So I'm going to switch sides. Again, we're really tackling those trouble zones in the lower body. Most requested trouble zones. Our next exercise we're doing is plank jacks and shoulder taps. So Megan's going to be into a high plank position. So you basically do two shoulder taps, reach for the shoulders, and then two plank jacks. Just going to keep repeating, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, plank jack, plank jack. Just going to keep going. This is basically what to work your upper body, upper extremity, lower extremity. Now if the jump is too difficult for you, Meg is going to demonstrate the step out, step in. So this is if you're having problems with your knees, you're not ready for the jump yet, that is okay. You're going to start with the step in, step out, just how Megan's doing here. Okay, last exercise in the series we're doing is two kicks front with a burpee. So Megan's going to start with two kicks front, she's going to kick as high as she can to the front and then hands are coming down to the floor, step it back or jump it back if you're more advanced. And you're doing step it back, step it right in, come back up. So this is going to get your heart rate up, it's going to work your core, work your lower body, get those hamstrings stretched out. Also it's going to keep your heart rate up, you're burning tons of calories blast and fat on this move. It's going to be way more effective than just walk, walking on the treadmill. You get your whole body involved in this. Be looking good for shorts and skirts and tank tops for spring. <laughs>